I'd like to thank PCBWare for supporting this episode today. PCBWare offers amazing PCB production, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing and injection molding. If you are creating, then PCBWare can help you bring your project to life. Get an instant quote right now over at PCBWare.com. I want to thank PCBWare for their support. Man, I love PCBWay. I mean, if you're into Amiga projects, Amiga hardware, PCBWay is just the way to go. So guys, in today's video, we're gonna look at my Amiga 4000. Now, as you, as you can see, this Amiga 4000 is built with the O30 processor running at 25 megahertz, and it has got an FPU at 40 megahertz. And this CPU runs cold it doesn't need no cooling and the O30 runs everything perfect but you can actually upgrade it to a faster CPU the CPU that I have got in my machine is like this a little O30 at 25 megahertz and an FPU at 40 megahertz but this is perfect for all WHD load gaming you don't need more speed this is just a sweet spot and I'm also talking about the compatibility. Use an O30, you will enjoy your games like crazy. Now people in 2023, there some few people are saying, no, I don't play games on Amiga. Playing games on an Amiga is stupid. I use my Amiga for productivity, which is in 2020, 2023, Ludicrous. I mean, why? Absolutely, why? <laughs> For productivity. I, I, I don't get it. I will never get it. Just like those games, they will never get that we enjoy playing our old nostalgic love games. But if people want to draw a picture, let them do it. Now, the 6840 processor, my personal opinion, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> and this is the Cyber Storm card. Phase 5 digital products, as you can see, it's in two layers. It has got this big bridge board that you connect to your Amiga 4000 or the 3000. It has got the same connector, you guys know. Uh, and then you put, put this CPU board on top and you can actually use an adapter to install an 016 inst instead of this ugly 040 here. This 040 has got built-in FPU. It runs at 40 megahertz. It will have compatibility issues when playing WSD log games. Some games will run too fast. Some games will crash or have graphical errors. It is what it is. But yeah, for productivity, it's cooler to have more speed, right? <laughs> so this is the 040. And on top of that, you can install this little RAM module. You can put it in here and BAM! You have got a, uh, 32 megabytes of RAM. Isn't that great? As you can see we can have, we can insert more RAM. If you look over here then you can see on the best Amiga hardware page in the world it, has, it says Amiga hardware database um, it says that it's uh, phase 5 digital products from 9495 for the Mega 4000 CPU slot. You can have it at 040, 40 megahertz, which is this card that I have got here. Or you can put in 060 running at 50 megahertz. And there we go. You can put in 4816, 32 megabytes of RAM. All right, so if you look over here, we have got, we can download everything. Everything, manual, Cyberstorm, driver disk, everything is just there. That's because this is, I mean, this is a very, very popular card. If we look at RAM settings, oh, darn it. How much was it? It was 32, then it says 32. Zero, zero. Okay, so this one laid down there, 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 and there. All right, let's look at this. Um, and it says 
this one laid down there 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 and there so everything should be fine so let's just go ahead and insert this in our beloved amiga 4000 the way we do that is actually we just turn off the power all right that's nice can i do this with left hand only or no i don't want to risk anything two seconds guys oh yes oh <laughs> okay with this card it boots too fast up so let's just there we go two seconds let me see how it blinks yeah it is reading from the sd card that's cool or oh, compact flash card whatever dude there we go so as you can see we are getting power to the fan here and the fan is fanning and we have got 32 ram and the old 40 installed and we have got here fountain and this is awesome and as you can see if we click we have got 49 megabytes of fast ram and if we go in oh that's snappy oh that's nice um look at this man look at the old 40 it's just so nice this info, this info. I don't want to listen to uh, this info on bad because we don't have 40,000 other uh, test programs. So if you're going to memory here, we have got the 32 megabyte RAM that this beautiful card has installed. Isn't that cool? And we have got 16 RAM on board, on the motherboard down there. And of course I'm using the DCR. That's the perfect Amiga 4000. I love it. And of course, my OCD 2 megabyte chip RAM. That's cool. Which is again on board down there where the battery should be. So, yeah, that's great. Let's install some more RAM, right? So, RAM is really simple. You just buy an old, old PC for 50 bucks and you have got all the RAM you could dream about in there. So, we have got two RAM blocks in there. Let's take them out. Two seconds, guys. Let's just push there and push there. There we go. And this is a 16 megabytes of RAM. Nice. And yeah, two 16 megabytes of RAM that we're gonna install in our Amiga 4000. The way. Oh, it just clicks into place, that's nice. Now we have to check out that jumper again, two seconds. <laughs> Up, up, there, and there. Let me see. There, 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 there. All right, let's go. Something. Come on, Biak. Now we have got 32 RAM and installed. 16 and 16 and bam a lot of RAM which is awesome let me see here programs Susan Bowl memory look at this 64 megabytes of RAM noise and 16 megabyte onboard RAM 2 megabyte chip RAM that's cool man drives let's check out um, what's it called 
this drives a reading speed. You just press on the speed button and as you can see, with the O40 it reads 3 megabytes per second. That's beautiful. I like it. It blinks. Did that help? No. Yeah. Alright guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If we take, oh, that's too long. If we take the speed test, then you can see that we have got the uh, 68040 at 40 me 44. It says here FPU. It's numero uno, which is nice. As you can see, if we, as you can see, it's uh, 50 times faster than Amiga 600 and 30 MIPS and the FPU scores 7 M flops and CPU speed uh, versus A600 is 6 times which is great stuff okay guys so this is this is awesome um, we can press on help two times and just look at how smooth it runs look at that cooler there uh, let's jump into games and let's go in and select the game. What should we select? Um, oh, let this here. Alien Bash, Alien Breed, of course. Alien Breed 2. Alien Breed 3D. It's horrible, horrible game. <laughs> All these 3D games made for the Amiga was just horrible. <laughs> But it works, do we have audio? Yes, we have audio. Yes, that's nice. A stinky audio, man. How do I play this? Oh, press on the mouse. Uh, yeah. The Cyber Storm 040 start a game. Look at this. What a stinky game. The... Oh my god. Oh my god. Open the door. Oh, it opens automatically. Yay. How do I shoot? Enter. Out. Yes! What a stinky game. Go! <laughs> the wonderful. Um, Amiga games, man. Amiga games are like Turkin and stuff. They're awesome. Three, and three. Let's go! Look at this beauty! Oh, yes! Now, usually we're running with the. Uh, Yes! Can you hear the speed? That's why the old 40 just sucked! Donkey's A! <laughs> yes! Awesome! <laughs> Let's try Turkin 2. Alright! So that's why I said at the beginning of this video, if you like to... Uh, I'm so sorry. If you like to use WHD Note Gaming on your Amiga 4000, just install an O30 card and you will just love it. If you want to watch uh, demos, then use the O60, it, it kicks A. But the thing is, again, just like the O40, of course the WHD Note will... Where is the great bar? There we go. WSD dot will handle a lot of games, but just like you saw Turkey 3, it was like, yeah. So now this one has got, it had 32 RAM. We just took some RAM from a PC that I don't use. So now it has got, I mean, 32 RAM is totally overkill. Just, you have no, nothing. 99% of Amiga software won't even use the 32 megabytes of RAM. And we have got 60 megabyte RAM on board. But the thing is, when you use... Uh, come on. 
there we go. So when you use the onboard CPU or a CPU like this or um, the O40 that came with the Amiga 4000, it will actually use the built-in chip RAM there and it will use the RAM here on the board. You can also put RAM here on the Zorro slots which will, which will suck even more because then it will be even slower. But these CPU boards that has got onboard RAM, they run fast. <laughs> okay, it's awesome. Now we have upgraded to uh, 64 megabytes of RAM, which is waste of waste. But who gives, who cares? It's just fun, right? And it works. Fine. Let's play a game. Oh yes, the all forty. Oh, is it is it hot? It's not hot. People are saying the all forty runs very hot. Wait, I mean, very effective cooler because it's just not running hot. I can feel it's on, but yeah. Uh, all right, got a gun. Awesome stuff, man. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you a perfect day. See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>